Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Monica and this is the second video of the Jira product discovery series. In this video, we will learn about the user's roles in JPD. In Jira product discovery, we have three roles, creators, contributors and stakeholders. Let's go and see what the creators, contributors and stakeholders do in their roles. First role is creator. So creator need a Jira product discovery license. Creator can access all the features of the Jira product discovery. They can run the prioritization process. They can create the ideas. They can create roadmaps. They can share roadmaps. They can read ideas. In this image, you can see this is the creator view, but when I will go into the demo of the Jira product discovery, I will show you how the view for the creator will look like and how the view for the contributor will look like and the stakeholder. The second role is the contributor. Contributor don't need a Jira license, but they must be added to your site's user base. If if they have already have the Jira license for the Jira product, then they will be contributor by default. If they don't, you will just need to add them to a specific user group, which is Jira product discovery contributor group. Here you can see this is the contributor view of the Jira product discovery. And the third role is the stakeholder. A stakeholder don't need any kind of the Jira license and they are not your project members. You, they just need a free Atlassian account and creators can share the individual views like their roadmaps with their stakeholders. Stakeholders maybe are from your sales team, supports, leadership, customer success, or maybe other customers. Here from the Atlassian document, we will see the difference what the creator and the contributor can do, what is the do's and don'ts. So here, as I described, the creator is a paid user with the product access to the Jira product discovery, but the contributor is a free users and they don't need any kind of the Jira product discovery license. They just need the free Atlassian account. And the creator uh, can create ideas, they can edit the ideas, they can add comments, insights, votes and reactions. They can create and edit the fields and views. They can administrate the project, they can add the users and they can manage the sharing of the view. But if you will come here in the contributor, they can just open views, they can add comments, insights, votes and reactions. They can create the ideas, but again, it depends on the permission. If you are giving the permissions to the contributors to create the ideas, then they can only create the idea. Otherwise, they cannot. They cannot edit the ideas. They cannot create and edit the fields and views, and they cannot administrate the project. Here in the Jira product discovery project, when you will go inside the project setting, you will come here in the feature create ideas you will have an option to allow the contributors to create the idea or not so it depends if you are giving a permission to the contributor to creating the ideas or not now we'll again go to the jira product discovery project go back to the views and when you will go here inside the project settings come to the access then this is the space or you can say this is the page where you can manage the roles where you can add the people and assign them to the administrator contributors creator role here here when you will go here roles in the jira product discovery you can read about who can be the contributors and who can be a creator so this is just kind of a little uh, summary where you can have an idea and when you will go here in the manage role, then here you can read about the administrator, creators and contributors role. As I already described what the creator and contributor can do, but you can see here in the administrator. So if someone has an administrator role, then they have access to all the features available in the project and can manage project setting and people but if someone has a creator then definitely they will not have all the features which is requiring the administrator specific permissions but accept that they also have all the available features which they can use as in creator role but the contributor is the person who can access the project in a read only mode and contribute using enabled features like creating ideas, adding comments, insights, votes or reaction. If you want to create a new role, you can simply go and create a role here. So it's up to you. It's up to according to your project requirement what kind of role you want to create you will simply write down the name of the role let's suppose uh, it's 
my uh, tester demo role and you can write down the description after that you will add like uh, work on ideas they can what they can do here like they can submit idea or not they can create an added ideas or not like here you can manage the permissions this is how you can create your own role inside the jira product discovery okay let me close it when you will go and add the people inside the jira product discovery you can simply search by name you can enter the email or even you can go and mention the name of a group after that you can assign the role of that group in this uh, particular table you can see i have the two users of mine where i'm giving the permission uh, to the contributor and one is in the two multiple role administrator and the creator this is how we can manage the role here this is also one uh, feature is available in this page which is the project access so there are the three kind of access private limited and open if you want to keep your project private then only the users who specify can open the project limited everyone can open the project but only users you specify can act as an creator and open means it is open for everyone any users with the product access can act as a creator so again it's up to you you want to keep your project private limited or open if you want to remove some users you can simply go here click on the remove and it will give you a confirmation pop up really you want to remove this particular user from this project or not you can also filter according to the rules we have the three rules here if you want to let's suppose if you want to find out okay who is the creator in this project and who have the two roles here then you can go and simply use this small filter here now we will go back to the views and this view is for the administrator because i have the administrator permission that's the reason i can go inside the project settings and i can perform the administrative actions like if i want to set the fields i can do that i can edit the workflow and the other features that i can do as an administrator but if you only have a contributor or the creator then how the view will look like let me open my new browser here so here in this browser i am logging as a contributor when you will come here will you will go to the project setting you will come into the access then here i am giving the permission to this particular user as a contributor so when you will come here so this is the contributor role and i have already shared this market player view with this particular contributor and giving the option so that the contributor can write the comment let's suppose this is the testing comment this is the testing comment and as a contributor i can go and vote if i want to vote okay i want to add my vote here uh, i am okay with it oh, i am okay with it and save so as an contributor i can comment and i can vote to this but right now you can see i don't have permission to create the idea inside this jira product discovery project but if as an admin i will come here i will go to the feature and i will go create idea i will allow the contributors to create the ideas after that when the contributor will come here let me give it a refresh i will get a option to create the idea here as an contributor because now i have a permission to create the idea as a contributor now come back here uh, to the access again and let's suppose if i want to give the other permissions to this user let's suppose the contributor or creator both or maybe the contributor or maybe the administrator then i can manage here now we will go back to the views and let's talk about the stakeholder role i will go here in the product roadmap view in the product roadmap view let's suppose i want to share this particular view with the stakeholder so i have to publish this particular view then i will go here i will enter the name or email address of the stakeholder and i will share it 
after sharing it the stakeholder will be able to see this view in a read only view they cannot make any kind of changes in your view but yes they can see the information that you want to show them that's it about the user roles in the jira product discovery now you know the user's role in jira product discovery and how each role add its value if you found this video helpful then please don't forget to like subscribe and share and please ask your questions related to the jira product discovery in the comments below thank you for watching have a great day